Hello, my fam. I am very hydrated today. And I'm so excited because I have a surprise for you. You all know that I have for years been pitching a Judge Perez show with me in a pink robe. Well, I got some pink on and court is in session. <laughs> So, I really liked the flow of yesterday's recap video. I'm gonna do the same today, meaning I'm gonna intersperse content about some of your favorite YouTubers and influencers throughout this video. So talking about them hand in hand, right next to traditional celebrities and reality TV stars, musicians, actors, the whole shebang. But I need to start off with the lowest of the low, somebody who, most of you don't know and I'm giving attention to, but only because she's got more followers than me on YouTube. She's doing well on that platform. On Instagram, Tasha K barely has 30,000 followers and is not verified. I might have to hit up my Instagram contact and see if I can help a sister out. So after my video from yesterday, in which I discussed her attacking me and my son, and falsely calling me a P-E-D-O, you know the rest, Tasha K doubled down, which is something that I do as well, but not when it comes to something so sensitive and so nasty and so wrong and illegal, but she's not worth my time or money. I'm not gonna sue Tasha K because I'm not gonna get that money back because when I win that lawsuit, she's gonna file for bankruptcy. That's how it would work. And as for Cardi B, she don't care. <laughs> you know, she's got a ton of money that she's willing to put on the line just to make Tasha's life miserable. Cause I seriously doubt Tasha K has a lawyer who is representing her for free. But Tasha took to her 30,000 strong Instagram to say, I said what I said, but let me say it again. When you turn around in a tub and your child is that short, is your blank in his face? This picture is suspect and borderline criminal. She knows what she's doing. Don't try and flip the narrative. I was talking about you, but you're gonna pull a Cardi B and holla your baby for sympathy? You admitted to bathing with your kids on camera. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you do that with your child too, but you probably won't cause let's, let's take the gloves off. You're gonna be a bad mom there. Ooh, I stooped low, I stooped low. Having said that, I do, I, I send this woman positive vibes because I'm not gonna stoop as low as saying I hope she has a miscarriage. Cause there are a lot of nasty people out there who will send her those vibes, but not me, okay? Um, now you go cry in the car. Where was I crying? You can get these views you haven't had in over a decade. Happy 600,000 winos. She knows what she's doing and I know what I'm doing too. She then posted to get another photo of me and my son saying, again, way too much for the internet. I'm starting to feel sorry for this precious kid. His dad is using him for the attention he hasn't had in over a decade. This picture is probably floating around on the dark web right now after you posted it showing how great of a dad you are. Everything ain't for the internet. That's what you should have learned in your 20 years attentive seeking. And then a third post about me. I'm very flattered. She said, now he wants to pray for me and my baby and bring God into this. Cause I commented on her posts about me. She said, after I'm roasting your attention seeking blank, now you called, I answered, don't try to backtrack now. Did you pray for all those people you dropped sex tapes on in the past? Something I've never done. You exposed celebs who were parents blanking blank on the internet and got paid for it. Pray for yourself. I will pray that no perv is nutting on those photos you uploaded of your innocent baby on the dark web. <laughs> She's starting to sound like a Trump person. And wait a minute, is Tasha K a Trumper? Is she like that ebony and ivory or whatever, or silk and whatevs? I don't even pay attention to those two. Pray for yourself and I will pray that no perv is nutting on the photos you uploaded of your innocent baby on the dark web. You are the last person that should be anybody's parent after all that you've done to folks. 
Now you want to hide behind these kids for sympathy and say that you're a changed man. I said what I said. You guys, my natural reaction was just to laugh. This is so laughable to me. Tasha K is laughable to me. But until I surpass her on YouTube, I will continue to exploit this woman for views. And call me a racist. Let's get this trending. Perez Hilton is a racist. He's exploiting a black woman. Ah! Guilty. I am exploiting this black woman. I am not racist. But I don't care if you say that, nor do I really care about Tasha K. Thanks for the views. Thanks for getting everybody riled up. She has no effect on me. I am laughing about all of this. <laughs> Yesterday I got heated. Today I find it all laughable. All right, let's move on because she's not giving me and you know what this story is probably gonna this is probably the last time maybe forever that i talk about tasha k really because what's gonna what what's gonna happen next she gets sued again who cares really she's starting to become boring Boom, boring guilty <laughs> been boring clock clock and what is really sad though is that so many of these tasha k fans and supporters don't think that you should leave kids out of it. I pray for her kid. I stoop to her level, but I own it. I admit it. Oh, well, I'm guilty of it too. All right. Speaking of the children of celebrities, Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris Jackson, so many people were dragging her on Instagram after she was talking about a marijuana-inspired recipe that she was making, some spaghetti dish and grilled cheese concoction and whatever it is. She likes to cook with weed. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This girl has been through so much, including, let's say, not taking the best care of herself and having to seek help for serious issues. You can have an opinion, okay? But you don't need to call her a druggie or quote, I bet you do meth too, or your dad must be ashamed of you. One of those things is triggering, enough. Saying all of those things to that girl. And I appreciate how she clapped back, Paris Jackson, just reminding everybody that in her experience, marijuana is not addictive and she uses it in a therapeutic way and not daily. And leave this girl to self-medicate as she wants. If you're genuinely concerned for her, if you, if you know more about what's going on than I do, if you really follow Paris Jackson closely and Maybe she's gotten too thin lately. I don't see that. Or if she's be behaving erratically, there are ways to express concern without saying druggy. Boom. <laughs> this is just a silly prop. That hurt. In other news, you guys, Britney Spears continues to make me go loco. I am now analyzing and scrutinizing and pouring over every single thing that Brittany does. She posted a photo of a tiger with the caption, what's behind these eyes? My first thought was tiger in captivity or tiger ready to attack. Is she just trolling us now, though? And if so, I like that. I'd be happy if Brittany was trolling us. I want her to get enjoyment any which way that she can. Keep on doing it, Brittany. Or she's trying to send us messages. What do you think she meant by that? Let me know in the comments section down below. On to perennial favorite Trisha Paytas, who was doing so well 
but now had to screw it all up with some unsubstantiated allegations against her ex-boyfriend, Jason Nash, claiming that he cheated on her. She offered no receipts, no proof, just an alleged exchange she had with a girl who claimed to have sent text messages, which could have been photoshopped, which Trisha did not share with us, proving that Jason cheated on her, not once, but twice, possibly even more. If Jason Nash is watching this video right now, and he should, because I am Judge Perez, court is in session, I know all and see all, I am just branding Trisha a liar, and even if she's telling the truth, it's best for you to say nothing, Jason, because people won't believe Trisha. Even though she didn't post receipts, let her post them. Folks are gonna think they're photoshopped because it's Trisha. I, I do understand why she did what she did though, because she just announced a tour. Yeah, Trisha's going on the road and talking about Jason and making these false allegations of him cheating gets her more attention. But what's really sad and low is that this guy is a father. He's got two kids. So when she does crap like that, it affects his children. So Trisha is a liar and Trisha needs to be sentenced to YouTube jail. A one week timeout. No more videos from her for a week. Boom, I love this new show of mine. <laughs> and like I mentioned, Trisha's a liar and a hypocrite because she literally wished bad things on him on her Instagram story, if you missed that, because she deleted it so you can't go back and watch it. But I found it after doing enough research. She said, you know, I hate cheaters. They deserve everything bad that happens to them. And then later on, she goes on and says, nothing but positivity and love for Jason. I had to do a double take because the reach. <laughs> I am so caffeinated and on one today, my friends. And by the way, Trisha Paytas is not going to Broadway. She's doing a show literally on Broadway, but that's not in a Broadway theater. Okay, if you don't know Broadway shows and Broadway theater, the space that, that Trisha she wishes she was Brittany. The space that Trish is performing at, the symposium or whatever the heck it's called, it's got a Broadway address, but it's not a Broadway theater, you know? The Broadway theaters are recognized by the Broadway League, and that's not one of them. Boom. <laughs> Liar. You guys. Did anybody else see these photos of Kylie Jenner on the beach? So many thoughts. If you haven't seen them, wait until my video is done to check them out. Or, you know, since this video is a bit on the longer side, pause it, go see the video, go get your coffee, get a glass of water, see the photos, come back, resume. <laughs> or if you're live chatting with me, just keep live chatting with me during the premiere. First of all, I don't think I noticed this ever before but to my trained expert eye, it seems like Kylie got her butt done at the same place that Chloe and Kim got theirs done. You think she got a Car Jenner discount from that plastic surgeon? And they all went so huge. Is there no in between? Like, can you just get a nice medium butt like you can with a boob job? And also, Kylie was covered in bruises at the beach. I have a theory about that. My theory is she gets kinky! Hey! hey! Kylie is great in the bedroom. I am shocked she's not pregnant again yet. <laughs> I'm not going to read much or at all into the bruises, but if the big old booty makes her happy, then keep on doing it. 
Speaking of the Kar Jenners, Kylie's brother, Rob Kardashian, was flirting up a storm with Nati Natasha. Well, not really a storm, like, was publicly flirting. That's a better descriptor of what happened with Dominican singer and rapper Nati Natasha, whom I love. If she's watching this, and she should, her fans should tell her to watch because I genuinely, I genuinely love Nati. I would say don't, don't toy with his heart because the guy's been through a lot, but just slide into his DMs and say, hey, um, I'm in town or I'm going to be in town on these days if you want to meet up for coffee. And maybe even be very explicit. If you want to meet up for coffee, I'm always down to make new friends. Say that from the very beginning so that he can protect his heart and if he wants to meet up for coffee as friends then he knows what he's getting into but meet up with him get that photo or even do it in public which i doubt he'll agree to do that so you can get some paparazzi photos i think a friendship and being seen with rob kardashian would be good for nothing natasha's career speaking of the kardashian jenner family and extended universe <laughs> they're like the marvel cinematic universe of reality television scott disick and his girlfriend it almost pains me to say it sophia ritchie and he are talking marriage they are they've called each other soulmates no no my heart goes out to lionel ritchie and you know what before this video is even over, I already am, like, I almost stopped the video be because of what I said at the beginning about Tasha Kay's son and saying I hope, I, even something as petty and passive aggressive as saying I pray for her son or, or daughter or child, I regret that. I want to apologize to Tasha Kay for that. I want to apologize for... I left a similar comment on her Instagram. I want to apologize for that. But saying I pray for her unborn child, passive aggressive, petty, but that's a whole other ballpark from calling me a pedophile, which is not true, illegal. And that's just, come on. This woman, Tasha Kay, has a history of homophobia, okay? I've been talking to a lot of people in the community, and thankfully, so many in the black YouTube vlogger sphere have been reaching out to me, and I won't name them, because I don't want to like drag them into any beef that's not theirs, but thank you for reaching out to me and talking to me and your support and to the fans, you know, I love everybody. And it's great that a lot of people that are not vloggers, that are my lovely, awesome black viewers have come to my defense. You are seen and appreciated. All right, don't get married. Oh yeah, yeah, she's 20 years old. I mean, whatever, get married. It's likely not gonna last forever. Anyways, speaking of reality TV stars, Lisa Vanderpump says that she doesn't have time for BS and negative minutia, explaining even further why she is not returning to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, I have time for it. I am here for that. Boom, Andy Cohen, sign me up. Put a wig on me. I can be a housewife too. <laughs> Actually, I don't even need a wig. I can still just be a housewife. I don't even need to be married or dating anybody. I would be perfect for Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let's make it happen. Okay, I'm overusing the gavel. In more reality TV news, and speaking of housewives, Bethany Frankel's crew is shutting down her not even friend of me, her straight up nemesis, Kelly Bensimon, who said that Bethany, while filming Housewives, did not care if she miscarried. Saying that could not be further from the truth. And 
I am disappointed that Kelly has not apologized to Bethany yet. I apologize to Tasha Kay and she's scum. <laughs> if I can acknowledge that I've harmed even the most hurtful of people, then so should Kelly Bensimon. Somebody snap. I basically wish I had a full team of people so that I could say, get a clip of this, send it to that person. Cause you know, guys, I do it all myself. It all takes so much time, but I appreciate my fram and those of you who help in all of your ways. Tara Jenkins, I need to shout out Tara Jenkins. She is my number one, okay? This amazing woman said to me that I bring light to her life and have helped her during a dark time. She gets the notifications. She's always here in the live chat. She's tipping. She tweets these videos, is the first one to do it. I see you, Tara Jenkins. I name you. I celebrate you. Thank you. Let's keep it moving, though. <laughs> More TV news. Speaking of reality TV stars, Janelle Evans says that her relationship with her mother, Barbara, is destroyed. Ah. This after the two of them got into a fight outside of the courtroom in Wilmington, North Carolina earlier this week. I have the verdict. Boom, Janelle needs to stop talking to the media. Janelle needs to stop talking to paparazzi. Janelle even needs to stop talking about it on Instagram. She took to Instagram as well to say that a mother's love, let me write that down here because I forgot to add this, Janelle. A mother's love. Blah, blah, blah. Saying that a mother's love never, uh, the child never stops loving the mother. Well, if the child is happier living with grandma, the child may not miss you that much. Also, just stop talking about it. I, I don't think it's helping her situation, talking to the media, talking on Instagram, you know, deal with this really difficult, sad life moment in private. Uh, all right. On to something I teased earlier. Jeffree Star. Did I tease? I think I even forgot to do that. Oops. Hopefully you all read the description of the videos or just start watching because you just enjoy my vids. Um, I meant to do a tease earlier. Um, there are are rumors, which I am saying it's just a rumor. I'm not reporting this as fact. I've tried to get it confirmed, but maybe you guys know more than I do because you all are very smart and plugged in. Plus also I got three kids. I'm a hands-on dad, do so much with my children, with my website, with my podcast. I can't see all, even though I try to. Word on the street is that Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook have had a falling out. So let us keep tabs on that. I will keep snooping around. And if you know any more, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, as always, I will have links to everything that I talk about so you could read, see, or hear more. Ding, ding. I was thinking of that like bewitched sound, the little bell going off. All right, well, speaking of um, bewitched, another iconic TV show, it has just been announced, is coming back! Soleil Moonfry is doing a reboot of the loved, beloved 80s TV show, Punky Brewster. Hey, Soleil, you know who'd be great on that show? Me! <laughs> I'm shameless and thirsty or desperate, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I just want to keep working and work more and do more. I have an insatiable appetite. So late, hit me up. Also, speaking of iconic TV shows, getting the reboot treatment, Jennifer Aniston has changed her tune about a Friends reboot. On Ellen this week, Jennifer Aniston said, listen, I've told you this. I would do it. The girls would do it and the boys would do it, I'm sure. Anything could happen. Warner Brothers, you need to give these people $20 million each, at least, 
for just eight episodes. No, let me think about it. 16, no. You need to give them $24 million each for just three, for just eight episodes. I was doing the math. I'm awful at math. Basically, do eight episodes pay them 20, pay them $3 million an episode each, which is more than they got paid at the height of Friends, and they'll do it. $24 million for eight weeks of your time plus one week of promo and get to spend it with people that you enjoy working with. <gasps> and they'll make even more in residuals in the future. Maybe they can even find a way to shoot eight episodes in less than eight weeks time. I don't know, anything is possible. Where there is a will, there is a way, and there is now a will, it seems like. One show that is also getting the reboot treatment that I'm not very pleased by is SpongeBob SquarePants. Why? One was enough, but Nickelodeon, whom I love, thank you for inviting us to Paw Patrol a, cute, a couple days ago. They have announced that they are doing a prequel to SpongeBob SquarePants called Camp Coral. I've had to sit through SpongeBob SquarePants because of my kids and it is so pain. <laughs> uh, a show that I do enjoy watching in clips because I don't watch TV, but I do watch a lot of clips. And I do like, I watch Ellen almost daily in clip form and I've seen a, a ton of footage from Queer Eye. I really love Tan from Queer Eye. He's got a new memoir out and I wanted to talk about it because I love supporting my fellow sisters. Y'all go out and buy Tan, pre-order or buy Tan's book, Tan France from Queer Eye. One of the revelations that he has in there is he talks about bleaching his skin when he was younger because he had a lot of self-love issues. And self-love is the hardest kind of love to have. It's one that I'm still working on. I love a lot about myself, but I don't love a lot about myself at the same time. I love that I'm an amazing father. I love that I'm an amazing son. I love that I'm an amazing brother. I love that I'm really good at all of the things that I do. I still don't love my body. I still don't love that I have, I, oh God, I'm gonna get real deep now. There is something, like, I'm just gonna say it. Part of me thinks it is really sad. Is it, am I just, I think, it, no. All right, I'm just gonna splur it out, blurt it out. Part of my brain knows that I'm a hustler because I have to be a hustler because I don't have a few money in the bank because I have five people that are my dependents, my three kids, my mom and my sister. But then another part of me says, are you running away from things? Uh, that's for another time. Let's keep it moving. If you want to read what Tan had to say down below, an excerpt from his book, on to something lighter. Y'all, I'm not the only one that's making YouTube a priority. Our girl JLo has been making YouTube a priority. Kylie Jenner has been making YouTube a priority. Even Zac Efron has been making YouTube a priority. He just uploaded earlier this week a vlog called Blind Fast Food Burger Challenge. And I don't care if he watches this. I love Zac Efron. I could not make it through the whole thing. I watched part of it. Like I tried to watch the whole thing. He confessed he doesn't often eat burgers because he's on a mostly plant-based diet and blah, blah. I had to fast forward through a lot because there was a lot of people that I don't care about in that video. I care about Zach. I don't care about all that other, all those other dudes from like Barstool Sports and this, that, or the other. <sighs> Speaking of dudes, this one dude in Boston is trying to get permits to have a straight pride parade. And first of all, a lot of people are upset by this and think it's stupid. I'm not upset by it. I don't even think it's stupid. I think it's hilarious. And I actually think this guy 
I'm hoping to think he's just trolling everybody. But even if he is being serious, I still think it's stupid. And of course they should give him the right and the permits to hold his dumb straight pride parade. And if a lot of people show up, great. I don't think anybody should protest that. Let the dumb straight dudes and women who want to celebrate straight pride do that. I never want to take away anybody's right to free speech, even if it's dumb or worse, hateful. I think hate speech is and should be protected. What I don't think should be protected is language that could incite violence or directing people to harm others. That is not cool. And from what I'm seeing thus far about the stupid straight pride in Boston, the verdict is let it proceed. Judge Perez is granting your permits. <laughs> Judge Perez is on fire today. Oh my God, so much more to talk about still. Let's talk about Donald Trump. The dude that lives in the White House is attempting to walk back his comments about Meghan Markle, even though they were on tape. Trump, the former apprentice apprentice judge chatted with his friend Megan um, Piers Morgan about Meghan Markle and what he said saying quote I didn't say well I didn't know she was nasty I wasn't referring to she's nasty I said she was nasty about me and essentially I didn't know she was nasty about me he literally said she was nasty Quinn, he just said, I said she was nasty. That's how I felt in the moment. I mean, it's in, it's in audio. <laughs> I got to admit, I'm going to miss Donald Trump and all of his looniness when we vote him out next year. Uh. And I hope a qualified Republican runs against him. Because I think anybody would be better than Donald Trump. Wouldn't you guys want John Kasich as president instead? Or even Paul Ryan? Like, I would vote for Paul Ryan over Donald Trump. Like, I would even register to vote as a Republican just to get Paul Ryan the nomination. <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump, because he's got nothing better to do, he got into a Twitter beef with Bette Midler, who was wrong, spread a false quote about him, but he's so easily triggered that he needed to respond to Bette Midler. Because you know what? At the end of the day, he's still a reality TV star. He's a reality TV president. And you know what? We are Fram, and I'm going to talk about Donald Trump when I want to, because I still think this can be an escape for you all, even if I talk about Donald Trump. You don't have to agree with everything I say. Chances are you're not going to. I've talked about so many topics today, and I want you to have your own opinion. You should. I am a troll. I'm looking like a troll. I am a troll doll. I am not a troll, okay? An update. Ay, ay, ay. I mentioned the Sephora story that they were closing they are closing for sensitivity training well leslie jones is now echoing sizza saying that her makeup artist and her friend were racially profiled at a sephora in new york being black in america is hard I don't know what that experience is like. I can acknowledge the plight and, you know, I want to be, and I'm talking and I, I purposely added this story because I want to be an ally. And I think that adding this and discussing it, hopefully that brings up conversation. And just, you know, last week I spoke about, I don't like the word being 
body con um fat we were talking about fat phobia and slim privilege i said i like the word body sensitivity we should all just be more sensitive to each other and aware i send you love all of you okay on to lighter news, a video went viral yesterday. If you have not seen it, click the link down below when you're done watching this video. It was of Adele rapping to Nicki Minaj and she slayed that monster verse. Beyond, Adele is not just a member of the Beehive, she's a member of the Barbs too. <laughs> and also, uh, Priyanka Chopra is opening up about many things. She's on the cover of InStyle magazine and is talking about how people continue to criticize her relationship with Nick Jonas, her marriage to Nick Jonas and the age difference. She's 37, he's 26. Also, uh, Joe Jonas is talking about his former relationship with Taylor Swift and how she forgave him. and. I am loving that the Jonas Brothers are dominating news this week because their new album comes out tomorrow. Love to support my boys. I've been supporting them since 2006, 2007. I'm excited to download on Apple Music because iTunes doesn't even exist soon, won't anymore. Uh, stream the new Jonas Brothers album when it comes out. Actually, it'll come out tonight at midnight. And I love you. I thank you all. Salud. Love, peace. And let us get this channel on YouTube at Perez Hilton to a million subscribers before the end of the year. I have six months. That is a very ambitious goal. But the only way it will happen is if you guys help me, my fram. Please send my videos to drama channels. Tweet it, tumble it, Snapchat it, Instagram it, take clips, do everything. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications on, hit the like button, leave more comments, all of the above. I love you. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you. You inspire me to work as hard as I have been here and my necessity because a boy's got to eat. <laughs> I'm almost too honest, <laughs> ah, but I'd rather be that than not. I hope you appreciate my transparency. That's one of the reasons why I've really been disappointed with Wendy Williams this year, because she hasn't given her fans, her followers, her audience, her viewers, the transparency I think that they deserve. Your boy does. Boom. And that's why I'm awesome. Boom. And so are you. Like button, comment, subscribe, follow, share. Thank you. I love you. Mwah.